the heart of the perfection of Wisdom Sutra. Thus did I hear at one time the Bhagawan was dwelling on massive vultures mountain in Rajagriha together with a great community of monks and a great community of bodhisattvas. Also, at that time the Bhagawan was absorbed in the concentration on the categories of phenomena called profound perception. Also, at that time the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Arya Avalokiteshvara looked upon the very practice of the profound perfection of wisdom and beheld those five aggregates also as empty of inherent nature. Then through the power of Buddha, the venerable Shariputra said this to the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Arya Avalokiteshvara, How should any son of the lineage train who wishes to practice the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom? He said that and the... Bodhisattva Mahasattva Arya Avalokiteshvara said this to the venerable Sharivati Putra. Shariputra, any son of the lineage or daughter of the lineage who wishes to practice the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom should look upon it like this correctly and repeatedly beholding those five aggregates also as empty of inherent nature. Form is empty. Emptiness is form. Emptiness is not other than form. Form is also not other than emptiness. In the same way, feeling, discrimination, compositional factors, and consciousness are empty. Shariput, likewise, all phenomena are emptiness without characteristic, unproduced, unseen, stainless, not without stain, not deficient, not fulfilled. Shariputra, therefore in emptiness there is no form, no feeling, no discrimination, no composition, no factors, no consciousness. No eye, no ear, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind, no visual form, no sound, no odor, no taste, no object of touch and no phenomena. There is no I element and so on up to and including no mind element and no mental consciousness element. There is no ignorance, no extinction of ignorance and so on up to and including no aging and death and no extinction of aging and death. Similarly, there is no suffering, origination, cessation and path. There is no exalted wisdom, no attainment, and also no non-attainment. Shariputra, therefore, because there is no attainment, bodhisattvas rely on and dwell in the perfection of wisdom, the mind without obscuration and without fear. Having completely passed beyond error, they reach the end point of nirvana. All the Buddhas who dwell in the three times also manifestly completely awaken to unsurpass a perfect complete enlightenment in reliance on the perfection of wisdom. Therefore, the mantra of the perfection of wisdom... The mantra of great knowledge, the unsurpassed mantra, the mantra equal to the ani, the mantra that thoroughly pacifies all suffering should be known as true since it is not false. The mantra of the perfection of wisdom is declared. To visualize Shakyamuni Buddha, at his heart is the wisdom mother Prajnaparamita, At her heart, the syllable ah. Surrounding this is the Heart Sutra Mantra. Gate gate paragate parasamgate bodhisoha. 
stabilize the visualization or the impression of these. While reciting the mantra, infinite light emanates from the mantra. And with that light, imagine oneself and all other sentient beings gaining a realization of emptiness. Tayata gate gate para gate para sam gate bodhisoha Tayata gate gate para gate para sam gate bodhisoha Tayata gate gate para gate para sam gate bodhisoha Tayata gate gate para gate para sam gate bodhisoha Tayata gate gate para gate para sam gate bodhisoha Tayata gate gate para gate para sam gate bodhisoha Shariputra, the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, should drain in the profound perfection of wisdom like that. Then the Bhagavan arose from the concentrate and commanded the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, Arya, Habha, Loki, Tejvara, saying, Well said, well said, son of the lineage, it is like that, it is like that. One should practice the profound perfection of wisdom just as you have indicated even the tatatagas rejoice the bhagavan having thus spoken the venerable sharivati putra the bodhisattva mahasattva arya avalokiteshvara those surrounding in their entirety along with the world of gods humans asuras and gandavas were overjoyed and Highly praise that spoken by the Bhagavan. The mantra absorbs into Prajnaparamita. Who absorbs into Shakyamuni Buddha. who dissolves into light and absorbs into you. <laughs>